Today's topic, who takes the final shot in your life? Hi, I'm Doug Holt, author of Your Own Story, and this is your Daily Growth Hack, where each day we give you a tip, trick, or insight to help you up-level what we call the five to thrive. That is your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, and your business. I was watching a video by Eric Thomas, and if you haven't heard Eric Thomas speak or watched him before, go do it. Search for him on YouTube. He's also got an album on uh, Amazon Music Unlimited. Go check it out. I highly recommend it. But Eric was talking about Steph Curry and taking the final shot. And I'll try to relate the story to you the best that I can. I'm going to go from this from memory, so excuse me if I get some of the stats wrong, but the general point, you'll get it. It's game three of the 2015 NBA Finals. It's the first round of playoffs between the Golden State Warriors and the New Orleans Pelicans. Now, what was happening is the Warriors, the end of the game, the Warriors were down by 20 points. And they didn't know, you know, 20 points is a lot. And so what they did time and time again is they went to their MVP. They went to the person that they trusted the most to take that final shot, to take the ball. And when you see these pictures and the story being told dramatically as it's told on ESPN or, or sports writers or even ET talking about it, here you have Steph Curry. He's taking the ball. He grabs it. Three-pointer. Drains. Got another shot. He's got a guy with a seven-foot wingspan in his face. What does Steph Curry do? Eyes closed. Drains it. Swish. The Warriors came back from a 20-point deficit to win the game. Steph Curry's stats were astounding. 40 points five rebounds, and nine assists. Now, this sounds amazing, and it is. I mean, it's absolutely amazing. What happened was the Warriors knew. The team knew they could rally around Steph Curry because they knew he could do it. And the reason they knew it is because time and time again, he's proven himself. In practice, there's a video of him just shooting three-pointers. He made 94 out of 100 three-point shots with 77 of them being conse consecutive three-pointers. Now, even if you're not a basketball fan, that is impressive. What that tells me is he has honed his skill time and time again in practice. And so when it came to the game, it wasn't a big deal. Down by 20, finals, not a problem. I do this every single day. It must have been running through Steph Curry's mind. And even more importantly, it was also running through the mind of his teammates. You see, in a game like that where millions of dollars are on the line, pride, these are athletes. They have a tremendous amount of just gusto. They've been doing this their whole lives. They give the ball, the, the one championship, they give the ball to Steph Curry because they have confidence in him and he has confidence in himself because he was doing the work every day. So this makes me think, you know, in my life and in yours, who's the MVP? Who's the person when it comes down the line, when it comes down to the most important decisions, who is your MVP? Now, if you didn't say yourself right away, that's something to write about. What I want you to do is journal about that. Why aren't you your own MVP? You know, when it comes down to it, why aren't you the person that's taking the ball for your life and taking that final shot? And if you don't trust yourself and you're always turning to other people for their input, then maybe that's something you need to change. Or maybe that's something you need to look at and find out why. Now, what I want you to do right now is grab your journal, right? And now again, if you didn't say yourself, that's fine. We want to journal about that. But I do want you to list your MVPs and your five to thrive. So that's your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, and your business. Who are those MVPs that you have? Who are the top five people that you can turn to when the game is on the line and pass them the ball? So in your mind, you know, who's somebody that you look to for inspiration or guidance? Somebody that might have a little bit more worldly wisdom or more, more business experience or, or actually might know something that you're striving for. And then when you're looking for that counsel, you turn to. Who are those people? Write them down. And what is it about them that allows you that confidence to hand them the rock, to hand them the ball at the end of the game? What about your body? Who, who is it you trust? Do you have a trainer? Is that somebody you look at? A nutritionist? Or is there somebody you follow online? Um, who is that person in the body that's your MVP? Now, again, this can be you, but also you want to have other supporting cast members as well. In your soul, you know, who is the person you turn to for spiritual guidance? You know, that could be a spiritual leader at your church, um, your mosque, your temple. Um, what are you doing? And what are those things that will allow you to be the MVP? So, for example, in, in the idea of spirituality, you know, if you're a Christian, are you reading the Bible every day? Or are you reading the Quran or the Torah? Are you practicing your meditation on a daily basis? Really, spirit is wherever it is for you. For some of you, I know it's just going outside. So are you doing that on a regular basis? So when it comes crunch time, when it comes down to life 
pouring itself on you or that feeling that we all get. You know, I had a friend describe it as wearing a warm wool blanket, you know, a wet blanket on you and you just kind of feel down. You know, who is the person that you turn to to peel that off? And if it's not you, what are those things you could be doing consistently to make sure that when it comes crunch time, you can pull it off? That's the key. What about your business? Who's your MVP? Now, if you're thinking to your business, you're like, ah, easy, MVP is myself. Now you're wrong because you don't own a business, you own a job. And so when I do coaching, so I do business lifestyle coaching, I work with business owners and entrepreneurs who are on their way. And what I talk to them about is if you have a business, yeah, you want MVPs. You want them all to be people you can turn to so you can leave and work on the higher level strategy. And if you're not doing that yet, what are those things you can do every day and practice to get there? Maybe it's training your staff. Maybe it's every day having stand-up meetings. Whatever it is for you, there's a hundred things I can think of right now. But what I want you to do is grab your journal, write out your five to thrive, do this. Don't leave the space of making a decision and coming up with insight without taking immediate action. Always take action, action first, right? Write down your five to thrive. Write down your mind, your body, your soul, your relationships, your business, and write those five people down each category. Now what makes them the person you turn to? And then what I want you to do is what can you do on a consistent daily basis, some people call it keystone habits, or just daily habits that you can do that will actually make you the MVP. So when things happen, when, when stuff goes down, you're able to be the Steph Curry in your own life. And that's how you become the author of your own story. That's it for me today. I'd really love to hear your feedback and I'm loving all the messages I'm getting. Thank you. Go over to the Author of Your Own Story group on Facebook. There's a great community that's growing every single day and people are sharing insights and wisdoms and I absolutely love it. And of course, don't forget, our Author of Your Own Story University is launching. We already have a ton of signups and I want you to be able to get in. So go over there right now and make it happen. That's it for me today. Go out and be the author of your own story. I hope you enjoyed today's daily growth hacks. Please put your comments right down below and remember to click subscribe. This way we can ensure that we're delivering these daily growth hacks right to you each and every day. On behalf of the whole team here, remember, go out and be the author of your own story.